Much better. That running water's bloody dreadful, Mum. It's the fish tank filter, it's keeping them alive. Yeah, I know. Do we sit off and suffocate them while you just do this clip? Please. I'm kidding, I'm joking. Hmm. Hey guys, what's up? It's Chloe and welcome back to another video. And if you are new here, then make sure you smash that subscribe button. So, recently I've been getting so, so, so so many DMs from you guys saying that you don't know how you're going to survive year 11 and that my friends is where you are in luck because I decided to have a little think about what got me through year 11 and put some advice together to bring this video to you. So just first off as like a broad and vital rule my general conclusion of how you are going to survive year 11 is that you're not. You're just not, are you? No, I mean, like, I could do a beneficial video on, like, how to stay organised or how to avoid exam stress or mental breakdowns. But, I mean, you're just not going to listen, are you? You're just not. But anyway, I'm pretty sure all those videos are made in 2016, but I don't know. So instead, I decided to put together my own Bear Grylls style guide on how to survive year 11. And by Bear Grylls, I don't mean heroic. I mean, I just barely made it out alive by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> So let's go! Okay, I feel like the outfit change was rather necessary. I can already hear my hints coming back to specify me as a porno secretary because of the Calvin Klein sports bra. For those of you that wouldn't have sexualized that, thank you very much. Let me just check my notes on my thoughts about that. Um, it says here, I don't give a shit. So if we can just proceed from here, that would be lovely. So here is my handbook, just um, as a guide for me to be able to tell you what got me through year 11. Um, so these are just my notes that I'll be looking through throughout the video. I don't need this pen. Now before we begin, let's just remember that each is to their own. Now these rules are just um, from my personal experience and I mean I made it out alive, let's just say that. Rule number one, revise early on, preferably one or two days before the exam. top form every day of the school year. School year. So make sure you are waking up at least two hours before you have to leave. I had to leave one minute ago. Rule number three. We all know that going to school six hours a day, five days a week, just isn't enough for us. So make sure you watch plenty of educating videos to really up your ability. what I'm doing. Rule number four. Now you don't want to be spending all of your precious time just thinking about boring exams. <sighs> so make sure that you make the most of your social status and get involved with as much drama as possible.
I just stirred shit in something that has nothing to do with me. Rule number five. Now you don't want to be the person asking to borrow stationery every single day of the year, do you? I know I wouldn't. Therefore, that is why it is vital that you equip yourself fully with all the stationery that you need in advance for the school year and make sure you keep it in a stable and safe pencil case that you can carry around everywhere with you. Rule number six, put your schoolwork before your personal hygiene. Mm -mm, just having some fun on my calculator. Uh, oh, itchy nose. Um, oh. Just remembered I've not showered in about five days. Well, I'm here. And I really can't be asked. Oh, damn it, I've just remembered I've got so much work to do. is so important when it comes to staying on top form, especially during exam season. Therefore, make sure around your busy schedule, you manage to fit in a healthy dose of exercise into each day. <sighs> now last but not least, rule number eight, don't attend any extra revision classes. We both know you have way more important appointments to attend to. Okay, so that's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you for coming to my TED Talks. Psych, bitch, I'm back. I hope those well thought out eight tips that got me through year 11 are going to help you through year 11 too. Because you deserve the best out of everything that you can achieve. And you can achieve it if you believe in yourself and follow these tips. Okay, no, but for real, let's have a little bit of a talk about year 11 and just high school in general. So let's just forget all the jokes and the silly business. I just wanna say that I, I genuinely have been getting DMs of people saying that they don't know how they're gonna cope with year 11 and the stress of it. And for real now, like, it's not the end of the world. You will be told your whole way through your school life, your whole education, and especially every day of year 11, that your GCSEs literally determine your life and you'll be surprised how much they mean and fair enough, try hard, try your best, do your best in those exams because otherwise if you don't do the best of your ability then you're just shooting yourself in the foot, like that's literally it. However, don't think that in order to be successful in life that you have to have them, like if you genuinely like academically struggle and people are putting you down and you're thinking that you're never gonna get anywhere because you're not academically smart, Bullshit. I'm sorry, but it's bullshit. You can literally achieve whatever you want. Fair enough, good grades can help if you need part-time part jobs in the meantime, or if you need to get onto like college courses and degree courses, then fair enough. But I know so many of my friends who literally maybe passed one GCSE, didn't pass the things that they were supposed to get to get into college, and they're in college. They're literally doing the same thing that they wanted to do. Don't take that as in like, all oh, right, well, I can just stop stressing now and I don't have to do anything because just trying hard at everything because there might be like a change in your mind, like last minute and you think, shit, I should have worked harder in science because instead I want to do this. Work hard. However, I just want to put it out there that it's not the end of the world, especially after my opening my GCSE results video. Um, my grades were bad, okay? I got like mainly C's, I got some B's, and I got an A, a grade eight, which is an A star in music, and I am doing music in college. I had so much hate on that video. You can check my recent videos and you'll understand what I mean. I got so much hate on that video telling me I'm not gonna go anywhere in life. Music is for the jobless, apparently. I think you mean talented, but. <laughs> I just don't understand where people are coming from, like how run by the system you are to think that you have to have all these perfect grades to get into college and just, it's just bullshit. There was a video that's been put on, I'll link it in the description, um, saying why I wish I didn't get grade nines and it's basically like this long like sort of like poem type video but it's so 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 powerful about this guy it had all grade nines, but he's saying about how he lost his creativity, all he did was regurgitate information, and you know what I mean? There's a lot more to it than that, basically. So, it's such an important message that people need to get into their heads, like, I'm not slating people if they want to be academic, if they want to do a 9-to-5 job, if they don't want to go into a creative industry, 
just my problem is when you will put other people down for not being able to do something or for not being academic or for not wanting to be I don't know like it's just it's just ridiculous and it's so twisted that the education system is like that so I just wanted to put this message out there as well um, as well as all my comedic genius skits I just wanted to put it out there that um, you genuinely just you just need to believe in yourself and whatever you want to do do it I had comments saying like I'm never going to go anywhere in life I will never be able to get into university so, I just don't understand, like, I got all my GCSEs, I got all the required things to get into college, meaning that I can then, after college, go to university, so a lot of them just didn't make sense, like, they were just slating for the fun of it, and compared to a lot of people that I know, my grades really weren't that bad. I think a lot of these people commenting were in private schools as well, so, like, just fuck off. Like, if you go to a private school, I'm not assuming that you're a dickhead, however, I got a lot of people saying, in a private school, you will be down upon, look, Everyone's equal. Everyone's just out here living. Just let, just, just be nice to people, okay? If you're academic, you're academic, and good for you. Because I wish I could just like take in information instead of having to reread it about 17 times. I'm not stupid. However, I'm not academic. I would choose to be in a creative industry, which is my choice, and I want to do that regardless of what grades I get wherever you can just there's always other routes around things just remember that okay and don't let year 11 get you down i had severe mental instability from year 10 onwards there were a lot of there was a lot of shit that happened in year 10 as well i'm not going to blame it on that i'm not asking for sympathy however things that you can't help can happen along the way and it's the way you deal with it okay it's the way you deal with what life throws at you at the time when you've got other stress like there's things that are going to be thrown at you that you just don't need and you've just got to get on with it, you know? You've just got to get on with it, move on, and just don't get so wrapped up in it that you just forget to be happy and forget to enjoy life. Because um, that's just so important because... I don't want to sit too deep. <laughs> okay, enough of me actually caring about your well-being. That was um, a bit uncomfortable, right? Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, wait. If you enjoyed this video then make sure you smash the like button oh wait if you enjoyed this video then make sure you smash the like button and if you are new here then make sure you smash the subscribe button Sn i'm so awful at outro wait fuck let's just start again if you enjoyed this video then make sure you smash the like button and if you are new here then make sure you smash the subscribe button and smash the bell button next to the subscribe button so you are alerted every time i post a video Thank you so much for watching, and I'm still not done because I keep getting it fucking wrong. Make sure if you haven't already, you go and follow my socials because that is where the real party is at, didn't you know? My Instagram and Twitter will be linked down below. Have a super fun and fresh time. <laughs> Goodbye. And I love you all so very much. Welcome if you're new. <laughs> so creepy.